are things in this world that we will never fully understand. Understand. We want answers. We have worked years to build our credibility, our reputation. Working alongside the most renowned professionals in the field, capturing groundbreaking proof of the paranormal. This is our evidence, our ghost adventures. Our investigation has led us to this very theater in Logan, Utah, where it's supposed to have been so haunted that they renamed it the Gardner Theater. I'm gonna have a sit down with the owner and see what has happened in this theater. I'm here with Taylor Knight in the Gardner Theater. Thank you, Taylor, for letting me interview you. Thank you for coming. Do you believe in the paranormal? Not before, but ever since I bought this theater, there have been strange things that have happened. That's what made me a believer. Have you had any paranormal activity that has ever happened to you? It was after the closing night of the musical. I was alone in the theater closing up. I was in the dressing room tidying up the few things that were left out. I could feel a presence behind me, like there was someone watching me. I turned around and there was nothing there. Mm, is there any other spirits roaming around this theater? Yes, actually. There's a much nicer spirit who hangs out in the back storage area. His name is Josiah. He was a stagehand that had a terrible accident with the fly system. Well, thank you, Mr. Knight, for letting us investigate your theater. We will get back to you with anything we find. Thank you for investigating my theater. How are concerts for orchestra specifically being affected by Corona? Good question. We can't have the big audience and people in the foyer or anything and big, the big groups. So in orchestra, we're going to record the concerts in, during class on the stage. And then um, our lovely class, our editor class or our filming class is going to be um, editing them or whatever, putting it together and we'll then we'll post them online. So on October 27th, we will be on stage. The students are bringing, going to be wearing their Halloween costumes for the concert and we'll be recording it and then we'll post it and watch it later as a class and then parents can watch it too. Okay, and if, if it ever goes live, how do you think that's going to be handled? Hopefully by um, February, we'll be live. Um, if we need to, we'll um, sell tickets or assign seats. That's the biggest worry is we need to be able to do some contact tracing if people come in um, for the concert. So hopefully in February, we'll be able to do that for the concerto night. All right. And is this uh, formula similar to band and how that's going to work as well as theater? Yes, band's the same thing. We're, we're doing um, all recorded concerts through our, our fall concert and our Christmas concert. Um, theater, we're trying to do live, so we're trying to get that um, music ready for Pitt Orchestra, for Anastasia, and we're getting it going, and hopefully it will be good to go. They are selling tickets, so they are doing the contact tracing. I'm here with Paul, and we're just wondering how you feel about the end of the term coming up soon. Um, I think it's going to be good because I know that a lot of students have been working really hard to get their grades up, and I know a lot of kids who are going to be ending this term with amazing grades, so I think it'll be great that this term is ending soon. Wow. So, yeah. Well, I guess we heard it from Logan High News. I have June Song with me here, and to talk to me about how he feels about the end of the term. Um, yeah, so I have one A minus, so I'm gonna get kicked out of my house. But I think life's good. First term's finally over, second term on the way, and Corona. With masks, stay safe, and keep six feet of distance. Amen, brother. Thank you so much. Yes. Here, I'm here with Mr. Kelly. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? So what's your favorite thing and why? I love driving. I love driving in my car to as far away as I possibly can get because you see so many beautiful things that the rest of the world just ignores and passes by because they're in a hurry to get somewhere. So sometimes just the journey of driving is my favorite thing to do in the world. 
That's great, but do you like to listen to music while you drive? I do, I love music. Oh, sweet. What um, type of music? I actually really like uh, 80s punk music, so like the Ramones and what well, else? edit some of those names, but I also <laughs> like the 90s as well. Um, I weirdly like The Offspring a lot. They have some really terrible songs, but they have some songs that just remind me of better, more fun times. I see. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for talking with us. Not a problem. Good luck. I'm here with Diana. Diana, how's it going? Very good. <laughs> Sweet. So what's your favorite restaurant and why? Um, Olive Garden, because um, I think they have the best pasta here in London. Mm. Yeah, so. Don't they give you like complimentary breadsticks too? Oh my god, those are so good. Yeah, they go amazing with the pasta. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Um, are they always warm or are they sometimes cold? They're always warm, like in the, like, the place like super hot. Sweet. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, do you like to go there in the winter because it's warm? Um, yeah, but I like cold stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Well, thanks for talking with us. Yeah. I'm here with Jonathan. Jonathan, how's it going? Pretty good. Cool. So what talent do you have? Um, well, of course, we all have many, but uh, I have a talent in sports. Ooh, what sports? Uh, not in particular. It's more of just all of them. There are a few I don't particularly like, per se, but I do like all of them. That's pretty good. Are you good at like, um, ping pong or table tennis? Never done table tennis, but I do love ping pong. Are you different? <laughs> I, I can't answer that. I don't know. Cool. I thought they were the same. Well, thanks for talking with us. Okay. We're in the back storage area. Um, we're going down into the basement of the area where all the props. You put all the props. And we're going to see if there's any activity. Hi, Aaron. Yeah. So, let's, let's get to it. Down. A lot of steps. It's deep. Be careful, Aaron. I will. Oh, dude, it's dark down here. Very, very dark. So we have the spirit box today. We're gonna turn it on down here and see what we find out. Are there any spirits with us here today? What is your name? Can you give us any sign if you're here? You hear that? Whoa, dude, whoa. What was that? Whoa. In that direction. What the heck? Just get out of here. The energy was just off. Like, I did not like it. Okay, well, we should split off. I'll go into the storage room where the nice ghost is. And you, bud, you're going to where the dark but, ghost is. What's that? Too bad, bud. Let's go. You're going to go into the dressing room. Another one. Another one. Gage, Gage, what, how do you think we're going to do Friday? Uh, I think we're going to do good. We're going to win. We're gonna play Snow Canyon. Um, how do you think the game's gonna go this Friday? I think we'll take a dub. Uh, what do you think we need to do to get that win this Friday? Uh, we gotta catch the ball and run to the end zone as many times as we can. Yes, sir. Uh, how do you think the game's gonna go this Friday? Um, I think it's gonna go good. They're gonna win. Uh, what, do, what do you think the players need to do to win? I think they need to have better defense and right. get on the game. All right, yes, sir. Uh, how do you think the game's gonna go this Friday? Uh, I think it's gonna go good. Yeah. Think you're gonna get that win? Yeah. All right, yes sir. Um, what What do you think the players need to do so we can win? Step up their defense. Step up their defense. Yeah, we gotta fix our defense. Last week we did the art, and this week we are doing the CTE. Do this. Over here is where you do work for it. The workshop. It's the workshop, yes. Yeah. Over here is the um, drone place. Come on. And we learn personal finance and play 
we are in a company. And to know everything about this class, you need to ask the kids. Um, I'm the HR of the class. Um, basically what we do is we run a company. Um, each student has an individual job that they're in charge of. Each month I get a report of what they do and we manage the class. We have many of that. We have to put into bills, into um, different finances, our 401k, our savings, emergency funds, um, any uh, debt that we have to pay. Um, so like our seats, we have to buy our seats. That's basically our house. Um, we learn about different things. Like right now we're learning about how to write a resume and what's important to put on there and what's not. So yeah, also Mr. Kendall is very nice. Awesome. So, is there any like shops? So this is where the old IT room is, but now it's upstairs. So this is the new IT office. See, look how beautiful it is. Next week we're going to be doing the music and the theater room, so stay tuned. I have the spirit box here with me, and I'm going to try to communicate to Josiah with it. Josiah, are you here with me? What is your name? How long have you been dead? You hear? You guys hear that? How did you die? accident. Remember when Taylor said um, he died from the fly system? That's solid evidence. Okay, goodbye Josiah. Thanks for talking with me. I'm here in the very dressing room where Taylor Knight and many others have had encounters with this dark spirit. So yeah, we're just gonna uh, camp out in here and see if we can see anything. I don't like the vibe in here. It's very dark, very cold. I feel an energy shift. Whoa, whoa! Zach, Zach! Get in here! Zach! Dude, 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 you good, you good, you good? Holy crap, I saw something. I saw something in here. The dark spear, I saw it. You did? I saw it, yes. Did you catch on camera? Yes, we got it on camera. After our investigation, we have concluded that this theater has very dark energy around it. And after our encounter in the, in the dressing room, we have concluded that no one should have died in this theater.